Eloy, Eloy, lama sabachthani. They were the final words that the master spoke in the cross of Calvary. Father, sometimes we feel the same way in that situation where our master was caught up in. The Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who bore our sins and our transgression when they were laid upon his back. And as he looked unto the heavens, he said, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. Because at the final moment, he felt like the pain and the anguish that he was going through had separated him from you. And that's the same way, Father, that we feel in this time and in this generation. Men, women, children, sons and daughters, all aching and crying for the pain that they have they are feeling because of situation and circumstance. They feel like the sin is just too much. The burden has become so overwhelming. And on the cross of Calvary, the master bear the sin of the world, the depression, the anguish, the suffering, the pain, the diseases, the infirmities, all of them, he bore them on the cross. The one day, me and my and the one that is listening may not say the same thing father father why have you forsaken me in this new generation we are living by the breadcrumbs that our former generation our past generation have laid forth that sometimes they may not be right but sometimes we follow them because things in this generation become perverse, perverse. It's like we're living in the days of Sodom and Gomorrah where the young men are being driven by the young, the older men to do immorality. Where the mother is not telling the, the daughter the right thing or even sometimes, even if he's telling the daughter, it is falling on deaf ears. So I'll say this, Eloi, Eloi, Lamasta Bakthani. That Father, Father, forgive them for they not know what they have done. Because in this generation, sometimes we don't understand what we do. Yet we have the full awareness that our eyes are open yet we do not see. Because the enemy has blinded that unless we see the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ, which saves and sets man free, we don't understand the importance of those words. Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. The pain and the anguish, the heartfelt battle within the soul and the spirit, but the flesh is lingering on between to know which side to choose. But the biggest war waged on between the soul and the spirit. That's why our, miss, our Master and Messiah, Savior Jesus Christ, on the Garden of Gethsemane. He fought the greatest battle ever, the battle of the spirit and the soul. And at the cross, when he said, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, for once in his lifetime, he felt like, Father, you have departed from him. That makes me think. That makes me wonder. Is it the pain and the suffering and the sorrow that the generation is going through? Father molesting their daughters, sons uh, going through stuff, having no direction or sense of guidance in their life that they turn to drugs, sex, uh, sugar mummies and some into other, other kind of things that are not worth it to mention but homosexuality, they have lost the, the importance of their organs and they are using them for vanity of vanity, thinking that the immersion of wealth is what is required. But at the end of the day, the psalmist spoke and said, vanity of vanities. Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. Is the pain that we feel when a young lady is raped and left to bear children and in the suffering and in the anger, anguish, she feels like her guy when she was cast out by Abraham. But Father, there is a voice that speaks. A voice that speaks that we don't understand. 
a voice to speak that we have not been taught. Like David in the wilderness, he'll say, I look unto the hills for where does my help come from? My help come from the Lord. Now we don't have hills, we have cities being built in the name, and the churches are being built in the name of our Lord, but perversion seem to have entered witchcraft, our sorceries seem to have entered through those doors. So Father, where do we turn to? Where do we turn to? We look unto Joshua, he says, as for me and my house, we will trust the Lord. As for me and my house, we dedicate ourselves to the Lord. But what about that young lady who has been molested? What would she say? Or that son who has grown without a father or a mentor to guide him or and that daughter that doesn't have a father figure in her life? You are the father to the fatherless. You are the husband to the widows. What about the men? That's the question that lingers in my heart. Hello, hello, Lama Sabakthan was the last statement that you said on the cross. My heart is full of pain and anguish for them. So, Father, I'll pray in the spirit and I'll pray in the understanding for this generation. A mark of intercession and truth to declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. That even though through hard times and through the suffering and the sorrows, it's all for a while. But how long? How long shall we carry the crows on our vertebrates? For how long shall we bear the snare of the enemy? While our eyes and the eyes of the men that we looked up to are blinded. Father, we seek understanding. I seek to know more about you. But I'm caught up between the flesh and the spirit. What I desire to do, I find myself not doing it. But what I desire not to do, I find myself doing it. It calls for submission and discipline. So, Eloi, Eloi, Lama Sabachthani. I'll take up the mantle to declare that, Father, you have no longer forsaken me. That by the blood of the, of the Lamb that you died, that you gave on our behalf, I was crucified on the cross of Calvary. This day I have the victory. For a writing of ordinance was written against me. It has been wiped away, slid clean. That it doesn't matter if I did not grow up with a father nor with a mother. Or I was born in or out of wedlock. Actually, I was never born out of wedlock because the Bible declares and decrees that before the foundations of the world, you knew me. You saw the womb that I was born, supposed to be born in. You saw the parent that was to carry me as a vessel in this world and you have set forth my course that as i walk through the valleys of the shadow of death i fear no evil for greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world and my lines are fallen unto pleasant places and i am more an overcomer so addictions pornography movies sex issues of life and heartaches robbery violence all manner of things, witchcraft, sorcery, vexes, all these things I have overcome them. Because the master said his final words, Eloi, Eloi, Lama Sabachthani. You forsake him once on the cross because of my sins. And he took them upon the vertebrate. The three hours of darkness was a spiritual exchange of my liberty that I gained. And he not only left it there. He who ascended is he also who descended. But first he descended before he ascended first. He went on to Calvary. He went on to dead. Jesus, the son of man, died. And I this day declare the greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So Father, I thank you. I thank you for your son. For God so loved the world, my world, the world that I was living in, and the world that I'm still living in, to defy it by the truth. The Father, by the truth, the world may know, the nations may know that righteousness truly exists. That there is no pain, no havoc, no, no distance, no depth, no height, no width, no length, 
can separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. So this day I testify of the goodness and the goodness of the Lord and lead the men unto salvation. So do not worry about where you come from. You are more than an overcomer. Eloi, Eloi, Lama Sabachthani was the last word that he spoke. The Father forsake him that he may not do this again. He did it on Jesus because of our sin. That this day we who are born in Christ Jesus because of the virtue of his death on the cross, the Father will never forsake us. Because he spoke and said, I'll never leave you, neither forsake you. He who has seen me has seen the Father. So if Jesus lives in us, that means the Father lives in us. Therefore, the Father will never forsake us. Mind and understand the statement that the Master spoke on the cross of Calvary. Father, Father, why have you forsaken me? Now I have a testimony to say that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. And my Father lives in me. My physical Father may not be there or may be debit or maybe doing other things but i thank i thank you god because you never leave me and forsake me el brocos kel fradesh kala armanande le keski de ercabantes by the declaration of my spirit you are my father and my god glory to your name and forevermore glory to you god amen